Jedi Guardians, Trevor Lawrence. We're going to see if this generic two release has any sort of, uh, any purpose at all. Gunslinger, gift wrap. I think both these are the most necessary abilities. I think they're, they go really, really well together, gift wrap. Uh, Roman Dead Eye is cool. That's the ability that you can kind of, you can glitch this to where if you are on the run, you can take your hand off the right trigger and throw the ball. And Roaming Deadeye will activate because the game will say you're standing outside the pocket because your hand's not on the trigger and you get accurate passes. So all these dead eyes, I don't think they're worth anything. Protect its ass. We've tried that before, or I've tried it before. I think also really worth it. So gift wrapped, gunslinger. I think we have playoffs coming up, or we're in the playoffs right now. Let's do it. Dude, I swear I have my settings set to receive, which means I just match up with dudes who just wanna who just also want the rock. Score, score, score. Great job. Great kick return. Get out of the way, referee. Good job. Good job. NFL London games. Why are we at a London stadium? That's disgusting. Ban me? Why does this thing say ban me? Uh, let's have a little conversation here, boys, as we hope that this guy doesn't, like, glitch me or something. Let's have a slight little conversation about my Detroit football Lions. Got to watch him yesterday. Don't know if you saw it. Casual little game, Thursday Night Football. Not sure. Amazon Prime. Don't know if you do Amazon Prime or not. It was on Twitch. It was on all over. Lions dog walked the Packers. It's a good time to be a Lions fan. It's a good time to be... I was going to say it's a good time to be a Detroit fan. Uh, you know, the Red Wings are... The Red Wings are on the... Uh, oh, throw the ball away. Wow, I, I'm just a fourth time, whatever. Red Wings are on the come up. Tigers, you know, might be okay at some point in my life. Um, the Pistons have young talent. But damn, was it good to see the uh, the Lions win, dude. It is exciting. It really is. Like, it actually is. A, oh, wow, he's playing good defense. We're going to throw the ball away. I had A late. His user was just bad. Um, ooh, so we're going to have to... Uh, are we going to take this guy kind of seriously? All right, I might just cut my Lions talk for the next game, maybe. We're in the divisional, so I think it's this game and then the Super Bowl after that, I think. I'm pretty sure that would be... Yeah. Yeah, because we played the wild card in our... I think Tua Tagovailoa video there's a lot of people dude oh by the way just got the news that jmo's coming back that they reduced the suspension to uh be over this week that's freaking awesome so very pleased about that um it's a great time to be a detroit sports fan man it is let's go wow my corner route's just bad i'm gonna launch it anyways catch it catch it catch it oh <gasps> oh we dropped he actually caught it oh the ball just got <laughs> kind of just got dropped damn damn i need that all right, boys. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We got to be, like, paying attention here. He's kind of sending the dogs at me a little bit. See, I don't know why he's going to this blitz now, though. I mean, he should just keep on doing what he's doing. Let's do this. Let's see if there's any chance that he just... Don't blitz me. Don't. Yeah, don't send five. Good. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, wow, I overthrew it. All right, we're going to play defense. 0 for 3 for Trevor Lawrence to start. I think, didn't they get dog walked by somebody the past week? I'm pretty sure they did. Uh, people are complaining about Jameer Gibbs carries and his touches and his usage and all that good stuff which is fair which is fair um there's do i think there's some validity to that yes at the same time is the offense being ran at a very high level right now yes and also we're four weeks into the season dude we're four weeks into the season I, I, I don't know. I don't have. I really don't. Have, I personally don't have any issues. I get why some people are upset. If you're just a fantasy guy and you're upset, I respectfully don't care too much. But like, I do get a little bit right. Uh, 12th overall pick. People are forgetting that we got another pick out of that, and that's how we got. I want to say Sam Laporta. Um, like that trade back for him is how we got Sam Laporta. So it's not like it was just like, we, like it was like he's the only part of that. Um, and I, I, I think there's gonna come games offsides. Jeez. I, I do believe there's going to come games this year, next year, the following year, that Jameer Gibbs is the reason we win. And I think there's going to be numerous games like that where he is a huge reason. I think there's going to be a lot of games that are like that, um, even if they're not happening immediately. I mean, we're four games into the season. I don't think I – I think people are overreacting just a little bit. Good blitz. Uh, I think people are overreacting a little bit. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. It'd be different, too, if, like, things were going bad for the Lions, especially offensively, but things are going good. Um, things are going really good, so it's like, and I, I also appreciate having uh, a coaching staff that doesn't really care about, like, what's the right word? Good day. 
um, that doesn't necessarily care about like like there are coaching staffs where if you give a guy a big contract, he has to play. He has to play. Give him a big contract. No, nothing you can do, right? I think you see, I feel like you see that in basketball a lot. Um, but it's definitely all over. Uh, you'll see that stuff, and it's bad. It's not a good pick, pick, pick. Ooh, it's not good, right? Um, and so if for whatever reason they don't think Gibbs is perfect for – ooh, he's going for this – is perfect for the situations that we're in right now, which, by the way, last week he had 17 carries, but – then, then go with that. I think he's a dynamic enough playmaker to where he will have his opportunities and it will like, it'll be very apparent that this guy is a guy, if that makes sense. I, I, I think they'll come. So I'm not concerned about it at all. I know a lot of people are talking about it, though. I do know that. We got to watch that left side. I think a corner out left. Throw it. Good. I mean, geez, this guy called four plays and just got hit every time. I guess so did I, but I get to make fun of him. Yeah, so I have no issues. Uh, and then, like, the big argument is that uh, we passed on Jalen Carter, which, obviously, he's a dog for the Eagles. I, dude, it's just so hard for me to criticize really anything that our front office and coaching staff does. I mean, this is the first, like, these are the dudes who have made the lines relevant for the first time since, uh, geez, I mean, good, my goodness gracious, Mike Evans. For the first time in forever, dude. Like, literally took them from the abyss. And they're, they're draft, like, they're huge on... We want our guys to play for us. We want to draft our type of person, whatever, whatever, whatever. That has to fit all of these boxes, and we're not going to change that for anybody, right? No matter who you are, no matter how talented you are, we're not going to change that. And if for whatever reason they weren't confident in Jalen Carter checking every single box or just being what the team needs, right, even if it was something as simple as that, which easily could be. I don't. I obviously don't know Jalen Carter. Um, like, okay, I, have, I just have no reasons to, to criticize them. You know what I mean? I'm just thankful for the to be freaking a uh, football team that can win games, you know. Touchdown. Oh, I don't know if we'll make that throw. Oh, good throw. Overthrow. Oh, I pushed it. Time out. I pushed that. We have overthrown two balls, though. That one felt like a more normal one. That crosser earlier we overthrew it, Trevor. He's got a decent release, it feels like. But definitely good. Like I, That feels like a good – that's generic two. Jeez, I can never remember who else has generic two, but I'm sure some of you guys do. Let me know in the comment section who else has generic two because it feels usable. Feels pretty good. We got X. Boom. That was a good ball. Get away. Get away. Get away. Ooh. Ah. Um. Yeah, it feels pretty good. But yeah, dude. I mean, I'm I'm excited for the Lions, bro. I really am. And yeah, Jamo's coming back now. That'll be exciting to see how they use him. And I, I think, again, dude, I really think Gibbs time will come. Um, and, dude, Dave Montgomery is a good running back. Like, he's a good running back. I think Jameer Gibbs also is going to, like, I wonder, I, I, I'm curious, how much how much having to learn two different positions for Jameer Gibbs, because he's learning running back and he's also learning a lot of slot wide receiver as well. I'm curious how much that plays a factor. Look, if you're tired of losing games to John Madden football, my website, civil.gg, will give you the tools you need to start winning more games immediately. Between having the best ebooks online on both offense and defense, tips that are known by only the top 1% of Madden players, and a community of people just like yourself who are also trying to get better, code PREMIUM will get you 25% off, and you'll get instant access to literally everything. It's linked in the top description. I've been playing professional Madden for the past four or five years now. I've helped thousands of Madden players win more games, and I can help you too. Again, Link, top of the description. I'll see you inside. Um, in just limited playing time right now, because I assume the grand vision is to get him and Montgomery on the field together somewhat. And we've seen that a little bit. Uh, but I wonder if, like... And I'm just curious if that if that's played a role at all. Nice. Good job, Tyreek. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. I have no issues with it, though, dude. I have no issues. And I also think part of the Jalen Carter thing, not drafting Jalen, is... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, is banking on the guys who we have in our current in our current locker room who the past two weeks have done great. Uh, we sacked, I mean, how, I think we have 12 sacks in the past two weeks. The only bad game defensively we had was against the Seahawks, which we've had a bad game defensively against the Seahawks this year, last year, and the year before. Not proud of that, but that's just, and it's not like an acceptable thing, but you know what I mean? It's just like, they might own us, dude. They might own us for whatever reason. And you know what? We'll live. Uh, got halfback. Just got to make that tackle. Going to be a tough tackle. 
Tackle? Good tackle. Wow, that could have been way worse. You get one-on-one -on -one like that, you like your chance if you're Naz, but whatever. So this guy just loves audibling over to this. So we're going to hard flat that right side. I'm going to watch this left myself. Ooh, is he going to run? All right. Hey, I'll be honest. The way you say up defense, dude, like, that's why, I don't know. You just need to be paying attention because, like, you see me on that first drive just not paying attention, just walk backwards basically into sacks. Like, you just can't do that, dude. Ooh, he's really flipping like that. I'm actually so surprised he did that. Boom, boom. Okay. Oh, I have... Shoot, shoot, shoot. Jeez. I mean, he knows all the meta stuff. I just don't know how good he is. Good D. Good, good, good. But yeah, like, if you're not paying attention, bro, especially because some of these blitzes and, like, critically thinking about how, like, you beat these things, it can be, uh... I mean, you go backwards like I did. I feel like that second drive, though, we did pretty... We did pretty good. Right? Boom. Oh, uh, what are we doing? Boom. Back him off. Why not? Let's go. I'm, uh... Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Throw something. Throw, ooh, ooh, did I not have a... I guess I didn't. I thought I had a hard fly on the left side, but we did not. Half back, got half back, got half back, got half back. Don't throw it. Ah, I'm not fair. I thought I was. I thought I could, like, loop all the way up. Ah, such a predictable play call. Good dot, good dot. I gotta defend that better. Good dot, my boy. Good dot. I'm under. Don't throw it. I thought it was so open. That was so open. Good. <laughs> Don't throw it, I say, as the dude's wide and open, bro. Also, talking about the lines. Jared Goff. Dog. Blitz? No blitz. We got B. Touchdown, I think. Pass it up. Good. No high ball needed. Uh, ah, I gotta make that guy miss somehow. That's, that's kind of tough to make him miss. Um, damn, oh, jeez. Yeah, Jared Goff's a dog. I don't know. I will say, I don't know what these, like, random interceptions are. Like, interception third play of the game yesterday. Don't know what that's about. That is, uh, can't have that. Can't have that. But he's not sending pressure again. We're going to have B again. Touchdown. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Mike Evans is such a dog, bro. He really is. Like, actually. Let's try the stretch run. Um, but, I mean, dude, like, dude delivers dimes. All right? Top five QB? Top five? Top eight at a minimum. Top eight. We can all agree top eight. Top eight, I feel like, is a very fair number. Good tutty or good two point. Heck yeah. Quick throw, geez. Tackle. Wow, we just... I might be the worst open field tackler ever. It's, it is a, one of those, like, underrated things in the game. I've talked about it some. Um, but, like, open field tackling, like, both... Uh, when you're on defense when you're on offense bro if you can make people miss in the open field it like the the difference in yardage per play is insane my use i mean i'm trying but i'm on a d tackle so uh you know what i'm saying though like just making people miss i mean it's a high valued skill in the nfl it's a very high valued skill here where i mean blitzing is always popular right so save a five-man blitz so you have six people in cover to say they split the field in half three and three you make you uh, make one person miss on your side of the field. You only have, you know, other two are probably not in position or you just have to make one more miss. Like, it just, it gives you such big play potential. Um, and it helps sustain drives so much, I think. I mean, I think, like, it's a, a known thing. Let's go cover three on that left side. Or no, we're going to do that, I guess. I'm a little bit worried about, uh, let's, um, let's do that, actually. Yeah, good. I got him. Good, 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 good. But yeah, like, that's why, man, I'm usually someone who plays like a conservative. And mind you, in the last MCS tournament, dude, I fumbled a lot. Um, but I just think the juke move is so good in this game. That's very hard to justify not doing a pick. Okay. Wow. Okay, so that was, a, that was an interception, I believe. That decided to go the uh, other way. I'm regretting getting stopped on our first drive now. That's why I get for talk with my head in my ass, dude. Jeez. Surprise not sending five at all. It's not four right there, but like we're gonna have RB kind of late. Boom. Catch it, Calvin. These tall receivers. Ooh, ah. These tall receivers. I mean, I just keep on beating a dead horse with them, but I think like they're, dude, there's there's a like there's something different with them. With gift wrap too. I swear, bro. I swear. I do not think people are understanding how good I, I am saying gift wrap is. B uh no, get away, get away. Dang, no one's getting away right there. A little three-man shed, why not? I'm thinking about with the AP update, so they're bumping it up to seven. I thought six was a beautiful number. I really did. I think they did a great job putting it at six. Things are pretty well. Does he lurk my comeback? That would have been insane. Like, if he lurks the comeback, you're just a dog.
But yeah, I thought everything was pretty well balanced at six. I mean, you should have to make decisions, right? People are upset. Six isn't enough. No, you should, like, at this point in the year, you should, jeez. Um, you should have to make decisions, right? You should not be able to get everything. I remember so many times last year, I'm like, I have everything. I don't even know what to spend the last. I would, I would frequently, especially in card gameplay videos where I'd have to change abilities, I would just go into games without the best uh, AP setup or without, like, using all my AP because I just did not care. Like, I, I had all, I had everything I needed. Don't care after that, right? But now you have to make a little bit, like, actual decision. Can I fit this? Eee! Good catch, dude. And like, so that's a ball I'm a huge believer that gift wrap helps on. That type of ball right there even, where you're just getting your hands on it, right? We're gonna look for, ooh, this might be, I haven't done this, emotion out comeback. Is there any chance this is good? I'm probably gonna throw a pick, but I'll look at it. We have like, if it's gonna be open, it's gonna be open. Dot! <laughs> Touch, wait. Oh my gosh, you can make Nice, nice. Dang, dude, that's pretty sick actually. I might start. I might start doing that. I might start doing that, dude. We got B, dot, dot, dot. Good, I mean, good catch, dude. But it helps on that too, like the balls, if you guys are ever complaining about like your receivers getting hit in the hands and dropping the ball, you probably, usually, you probably are not using gift wrap. And I think it's stupid, but I think it's just, a, it, it's an obvious thing. And it doesn't just help with the, like I said, it doesn't just help with the open passes. It helps with uh, like contested catches too. That's where I'm like, that's why I think it's valuable. If you caught everything contested, without gift wrap, which you can catch things, but just not everything. I would say, uh, it's pretty stupid. We have to have an ability that, that, uh, you know, eliminates drop passes or like dropped open balls. But I think it makes a good enough difference on contest. Oh no. I mean, this guy's, this guy's the best man player ever. Please tackle. So he can't, he's gonna kick three. He just got three. He just tied the game. Okay. Yeah. That, uh, okay. Maybe he didn't cause he is gonna. I don't know. I like coming on punt return in this situation, though, low-key. Because you probably won't block it, but, like, you could come up short and... No, he just tied the game. I hate myself. And it's our ball. Dude, we would have... Uh, our ball to be in the half. We would have actually taken a pretty good, like, control of the game. But whatever. We can fight back. The AP, though, going up to seven. So six, like I said, thought was really, really good. You know, make some decisions. Seventh, obviously, I think they should go up as the year goes on. The game should become kind of arcadey. Touchdown, make the throw. It's a crazy free form. Crazy throw. I'm missing some. Uh, am I really pushing him too far? Do you guys think different releases will change, like, how you free form things? I don't know. But I've just missed a couple this game. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, eh, I don't know if I would have missed those. I don't know if I, like, yeah, usually miss them. Whatever. But so 7 AP, going to let you now be able to rock Gunslinger and Gift Wrap, which is stuff I do. And then two apprentices. So a running back apprentice and a slot apprentice, two slot apprentices, two running back apprentices. Or one apprentice and post up, which is something I'm really considering doing. So that's a high ball outside, by the way. High ball up and out. Uh, that's a ball I see a lot of you guys throw a pick on. High ball up and out, no free form or not. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's a pretty good change. I think it's pr pretty well timed. We are about what? Game came out on the 16th of October, so we're, I don't know, like, you know, 40 days in, 45 days in, something like that, right? Give or take. Boom, dot, 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 dot. Good. Good job, Bo. Yeah, I mean, he's just running a lot of cover zero. People just get exploited by, a, I mean, it's pretty easy to take advantage of cover zero, I feel like. Good job, Bo. Dang, I really wish we were up 10. If I find a way to lose this game, I will be upset. Because this is, I do need, I need the trophy packs, brother. You got B, X. Uh, good job, Tyreek. And, dude, this is just a great day for Ty like for Detroit fans. Miguel Cabrera just got announced that he will stay in the organization as a special assistant to our uh, team president, which is awesome. Dude, Miggies, if you're a baseball fan, I don't know if you have any actual, like, hard hardcore baseball fans, but if you are, that's got it. That dude's manned up in a hook crow right there. But if you're a base an actual baseball fan, Miguel Cabrera's final games are, like, Dude, I want to say it's like he's got four left, I think. It, this is last homestand, and he's, he, yeah, season's over like this time next week. So if you're trying to watch one of the greatest right-handed hitters of all time, or hitters of all time, Mickey. Good. S oh, fumble. Yes, my ball. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got to I gotta find a way to catch a game, actually. I used to, I watched probably the first, like, literally first 80 games. We were in the playoff hunt until, like, mid-July, 
But obviously, I mean, we're the Tigers, so we haven't been good in a little while since we traded away the entire team in like 2016. We got RB, high ball up and out. Yep, yep. I do think that high ball is pretty important to keep it to where I definitely cannot get picked on it. I think it's a very underrated thing. Trevor Lawrence feels pretty good too, by the way. Like genuinely, like really he does. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you can't say he's better than Andrew Luck, but it, but I use Andrew Luck typically, and I'm like, I'm not noticing anything where I'm like, hey, Andrew makes does this, right? So that's, I mean, that's definitely something to consider. Oh, Tutty. Use the juke move, boys. Use the juke move. Looking for Tyreek on this quick little slant. Bang. Tyreek, bang. That's pretty sick, actually. MCS is tomorrow, boys. MCS single eliminations. I'll be playing noon, set, uh, one Eastern. I'll be live on my Twitch playing every single game. Single eliminations. Got four games tomorrow. If we can win through them, then we play Sunday. Again at noon Eastern or uh, one Eastern. If we lose, we're done. I'm going to play until we lose. You guys will see everything. You guys will see a lot of those games uh, here on YouTube as well. I post pretty much everything. Is he going to take a delay? All right. Well, uh, we're going to accept this because I... I am slightly concerned that his name is Don't Ban Me. Like, I don't know. I feel like he's gonna like glitch. Cause there, there are some like glitches or something in this game where like you can like freeze glitch or something. I don't even know totally, but I am slightly concerned. Gonna stop winning the game. But yeah, MCS uh, did pretty well last one, right? We got final, final 32, top 32. So tied for the 17th through 32nd placement. We're ranked 27th right now in the world. Um, hoping to build on that. We have, I looked at our matchups, some pretty tough matchups, I'm told. So, always oh, gonna be fun, a great opportunity. Fun, great opportunity. I enjoy, I enjoy some of the good matches. I feel like a lot of times in the ladders, I get tougher opponent. My last ladder was pretty tough, actually. Got Kiv, Dubby, Free the Penguins, C Vasty. A lot of dudes who are like actual very good man players. Cause you can kinda, I don't wanna say luck out, but oh, that dude looked like he was running a post at first. You can kind of luck out with like your bracket placement and kind of play lesser players. Uh, but the opportunity to play good players and uh, I mean, be able to beat them is is really cool. I really enjoy it. He has a tutty if he wants it. Yeah, he snapped the ball very fast. I feel like down. Uh, oh, I think how long this game's take. I think we're going to do good sack. I think we're going to do a Super Bowl for our next video is what I'm thinking. That's, yeah, just because this game ended up taking a decent amount of time. I think that's a pick. Good job, Palamalu. For six, Palamalu? For six, Palamalu? Six? GG's. GG's, GG's, GG's. Yeah, we're going to do a Super Bowl in the next video, I believe. Uh, whatever the next, probably the next card gameplay, whatever that might be. And we'll call that GG's right there. He is quitting. Trevor Lawrence was pretty good. Like, I actually thought he was a good card.